Here are five areas where you can rent for less and still be close to Vancouver. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you've ever looked for accommodation, you probably know how stressful it can be, especially as a newcomer to Canada. Because of the high demand and high prices, it's usually hard to find a place to rent in a big city. But it's definitely possible to find an affordable place to live that doesn't skimp on location nor quality. With that, I'm going to show you five different neighborhoods close to Vancouver where you can find above average to low cost options and safe places to stay. Please note that most of the rental prices I'm about to share are the cost of renting a one bedroom apartment alone. So if the prices seem high, just know that there are other ways around it, such as living with family or friends, shared accommodation, or living with a host family, aka homestay. In any case, let's start with the first video, starting with the city that I'm currently at, which is Burnaby. Burnaby is BC's third largest city and is generally a very safe place to live in. It's quite known for having a vast amount of green space, lakes and parks like Deer Lake, Burnaby Mountain Park, and Central Park. On the flip side, there are also a lot of new developments in the area, with condos popping up everywhere. For all you people who love to shop, it has four major malls. Brentwood, where I'm currently at, there's Highgate, Lougheed, and Metrotown as well. All of these malls have your favorite places to live, shop, buy groceries, eat, have fun, and much more. Oh, and if you're ever by Brentwood, I highly recommend you check out the Rec Room. It's our favorite place to play arcade games on Friday nights. Burnaby holds a special place in my heart as it's where my school, BCIT, is located. But other well-known schools like SFU and Fraser International College are nearby. In terms of transportation, you can easily use the SkyTrain and buses to get to where you need to go. And each stop is usually right next to or across from a popular spot or landmark like this one in Metrotown. So if all this sounds good to you, you're probably wondering, how much does rent cost? Well, it's important to remember that Burnaby is still one of the most expensive cities in the world, ranking at the top 5%. So rent is on the high side, with an average cost of $2,033 for an unfurnished apartment and $2,600 for the one that is already set up. Even though prices may be high, there are still ways to save around it. Honestly, if you spend a day cruising around Burnaby, you'll understand why people want to live, study, work, and play here. Next up, let's talk about Richmond, aka the man-made island. It's where the Vancouver International Airport is, so it's the first city you'll see when you land. As a side note, the city is a 25-minute drive or a 20-minute SkyTrain ride to downtown Vancouver. This city is known for having many different types of food, so whether it's Indian, Chinese, Japanese, or Greek food, they have it all. Apart from food, you can enjoy iconic landmarks such as Steveston Harbor, Gary Point Park, and Iona Beach Regional Park. For shopping enthusiasts, you can check out the MacArthur Glen Designer Outlet where they carry name brands for cheap prices. This city is also home to two university campuses, Kwantlen Polytechnic University and Trinity Western University. The average cost to rent a one-bed and one-bath apartment is $2,200 unfurnished and $2,350 for a furnished apartment. Still, Richmond is a great option for students that love to eat, enjoy a little bit of a nightlife, while still being close to nature and the sea. Before we continue, let me tell you about a tool that I've been using to learn more about the Canadian rental market. As we all know, finding a place is a big responsibility, so it's crucial to find one that you can trust. And this is where Live.Rent comes in. By the way, thank you Live.Rent for sponsoring this portion of the video. Live.Rent is an all-in-one digital rental platform to help you rent smarter in Canada. I've actually mentioned them in my previous videos for their engaging and informative resources, so it's pretty cool that I got this chance to work with them. They have an entire suite of features and tools. One is their verification tool to help you avoid scams or frauds. So they have two different badges. The blue badge shows that a user is profile verified, while the peach badge shows that a rental listing is verified. This means that both renters and landlords go through the authentication process. 
ensuring that all users have reliable and secure transactions within the platform. Their listing alerts also come in handy. It allows you to customize your search filters by choosing your preferred neighborhood, home type, furniture, room choices, pet policy if you have one, and price range. The best part is you'll be notified via email when new rentals matching your criteria become available. So create a profile with live.rent today. These features will not only save you a lot of time and energy, but they'll also change the way we rent for the better. Now let me get back to showing you around BC with a third on the list, which is Surrey. I'm actually outside Simon Fraser University, and yes, they do have a brand new campus here in Surrey. SFU is located within the Central City Mall, where you have access to many shops, groceries, and food. Central City Mall is also home to my favorite fries, Potato Corner. My fellow Filipino knows what's up, and for my non-Filipinos out there, you ain't lived until you've tried it. The other mall nearby is Guilford Mall, where most of my favorite shops are, such as Uniqlo, Lululemon, Aritzia, and Sage. Among all the cities mentioned, Surrey has the cheapest rental rate with an average monthly rent of $1,800 per month for an unfurnished one bed and one bath suite and $1,875 for a furnished one. Indeed, Surrey is growing faster than Vancouver because of its cost of living. Many residents find Surrey much more affordable than other cities near Vancouver with money being saved across all expenses. So if this sounds like a place that you imagine yourself to be in, then look Surrey up and see whether it fits what you're looking for. Up next, we have New Westminster. New Westminster is a quaint little city by the Fraser River, and it's a place to go to if you want to get away from all the action in Vancouver, but still be close to it. This busy town has a long history in a beautiful waterfront setting, so it's not surprising that many young professionals and families are choosing to move here. One of the benefits of living here is that the cost of living is quite low compared to its nearby zones. In fact, rent in the area is 24% lower than Vancouver. Average prices for unfurnished rentals fall between $1,700 to $3,400 per month, while furnished listings can go up to $3,600. Other than that, living in New West gives you access to an abundance of recreational, dining, and entertainment opportunities like the one that I'm currently at, which is Keyside. Soak in the views of the Fraser River and even drop by the river market to buy small trinkets and other hipster items. As for schools, Douglas College and JIBC are both well-known DLI schools with PGWP-eligible programs that are worth looking into. I'll have to admit that New Westminster is still a semi-suburban area like Burnaby and Coquitlam, but if you like the peace and quiet, you'll definitely find it here. Last but not least, we have Coquitlam. Coquitlam is a 45-minute drive or a 35-minute SkyTrain to Vancouver. I actually lived here for my first three months in Canada, so it holds a special place in my heart. The city is probably the best for families because there's so much green space and things to do outside. So why would this be a good option for you? I'll give you three reasons. First, it's one of the safest cities to live in, especially if you have or want to start a family. Second, you'll really enjoy the laid-back West Coast lifestyle with its urban landscapes, culinary nooks, and popular shopping places. Lastly, since there aren't many people living here, there is less traffic and noise pollution. Overall, Coquitlam is peaceful, safe, and friendly. When it comes to rent, unfurnished listings will cost between $1,900 and $2,550, while furnished ones will cost between $2,000 and $2,700 per month. As for things to do, there are several shopping malls and beautiful places to see. IKEA is here, which is the best place for students to shop for furniture at a good price. Some popular colleges nearby are Coquitlam College and Douglas College. And if you're fond of taking part in any outdoor adventures like trail running, fishing, paddle boarding, hiking, and biking, check out Rocky Point Park. As a small correction, Rocky Point Park is actually located in Port Moody, but because it's so close to Coquitlam, it's worth checking out. Indeed, living in Coquitlam fosters an active lifestyle with a wealth of options waiting to be explored. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope all of this info was useful and I hope that you enjoyed this mini tour of my hood. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you could share this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below as that really helps out push my content out there. 
Once again, thanks for watching. Be safe and be kind. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.